let's figure out what you've been up to and where you are now, what your your job duties are. Uh, just catch us up a little bit on what's been going on since 2016. Sure. Um, so after graduating, um, I kind of took that summer to figure things out. Um, didn't really have a set plan come graduation. Um, but I ended up applying to a few grad schools and got into the Citadel Graduate College, which is down in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, so I went, I moved down there, did that program. It's a two year program. I got my master's in health exercise and sports science. Um, with the plan of continuing an athletic training career, because that's what I graduated with and I became certified and all that good stuff. Um, but then I had the opportunity while in grad school to actually start a high school program down in Charleston um, at James Island Charter High School. And it kind of just fell on my lap. This club team that I had coached for um, a year prior when I was living in Charleston for an internship the summer before my senior year. Um, this guy reached out and he was like, Hey, there's a high school. They want to start a club team that's based out of the school that will eventually have the funding to become a full varsity program. So I was like, why not? I can do this. So, um, we started the club program. It was cool. We only played like five games. It was really just getting a stick in these girls' hands. So many of them had never played before. Um, we had girls show up to practice with boys sticks um girls that had never played sports before like it was a ride for sure um but it was super rewarding really really fun and then um that coming fall we got the news that the school had gotten funding to make it a varsity program so um it was so much fun we had like full funding so I got to go in and be like okay we want these uniforms we want this we want all these you know men and all that stuff um so yeah it was a blast it was the hardest season I think I will ever coach, at least I hope, because it was so hard being as competitive as I am and coaching these girls that had like never picked up a stick before. Um, it was hard. Like I would call my mom after practice, like, you know, crying or really, really frustrated. I'd call her after <laughs> games. Um, but eventually like it ended up being like the best reward ever. Um, every game that we played, we lost by at least 10 points, which was so hard but like our last game of the season it was like everything came together and these girls played so well it was so exciting I like cried after the game I was so happy um but yeah so after that I was like we're when you know thinking about after grad school what I was going to do my original plan was to become an athletic trainer at a college but I was like I don't think I'm ready to give up lacrosse yet so um I pursued that And then after graduating in 2018, I moved up to Newport News, Virginia, and coached as an assistant um, at Christopher Newport University. So um, that was super fun. It was great to work under um, Lisa Valentine. She's really smart and knows a lot of black stuff. So that was really, really cool. Um, And then after a year there, I moved um, up to... St. Mary's County, Maryland, and that's where I am currently. I'm in my second year being um, a full-time assistant for their women's lacrosse program. And I'm also the assistant, I always forget about this, which is really bad, but I'm the assistant director of athletic communications as well. So doing kind of what you do too, which is pretty fun. Let's go back. Let's go, we've been talking about the present and and the future. Um, Let's go back to your time at Lynchburg, uh, which ended in 2016. So I, 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 for me, I was looking that up. I thought I, I thought I had two years with Cat. Just if I don't know what that was, but apparently was well, only one. I thought you yeah came year too. Oh. I came I came the fall of 2015. So wow, it must have been, it doesn't seem that way. But no, it doesn't. It must have just been one season. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, but I know from that first year how uh, dominant you were. People can look up your stats. Four-time All-ODAC, two-time All-State, Rookie of the Year in ODACs and and All-State. Have you ever taken the time to reflect on the personal successes and and kind of match those up with the goals that you had coming in? Or is it just one of those things and you just don't, you know, some people just don't pay that much attention to it? Yeah, I think coming into Lynchburg, I think I was just more like, I was super stoked to play lacrosse in college. And, but I also, I think like 
above that, I was so stoked to get out of New Jersey and like in a new place <laughs> with new people, get out of my parents' house, get out of high school, you know? And so I think that was really just what was on my mind when I came in in 2012. And so um, I knew that I wanted to be on a team that I was going to make an impact on and that was going to challenge me. Um, and so, and I wanted to make an impact like initially, you know what I mean? So I think I came in ready to go. Cause I was just like, I want to show this team, like how hard I've worked over the summer. I want to show this team that I belong to be here. And I think it ultimately just came down to like, I want to be on the field all the time. Like, I think that's kind of partly why I was a midfielder. I was like, I don't like standing behind this line, having to wait to like go be near the ball and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I was just like, ultimately I just, that's, that's my goal. I just want to, I want to play. That's it. Um, and so looking back, you know, it, I'm so thankful just for like the team, each team that I had every four years, I think they were, you know, fantastic group of girls. Um, you know, we had so much fun. Like it was, it was just the best. I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's okay. There's, there doesn't have to be a, a, a formula to it. Right. I mean, everybody's, right. everybody's different. And I'm, I'm curious, you mentioned obviously the playing time and you wanted to make an impact. That's obviously one reason for choosing Lynchburg, mm -hmm. maybe the weather too, going south, a little bit warmer than New Jersey. Yeah. Uh, but but was there anything else when you visited, when you uh, were walking around campus with Coach Reed and or his staff? What else was more of a I'm sold factor? And mm -hmm. did that live up to your expectations throughout the next four years? Yeah. Um the first time I ever went to Lynchburg was actually for a shoot, uh, like a shooting clinic or something, mm -hmm. uh, that was run by the team. And it was kind of funny. I think I was, I think I was the only kid from out of state that was coming, except for there were girls that were a year older than me that were there for their recruiting visit. And so it was a pretty small clinic and it was super fun. Like I had a great time and I think, you know, after we, we got to play and after playing, I was like, I like this and like be interacting with the girls that were on the field um playing with some of them and stuff like that some of them were like oh you're pretty good I was like oh this is good like already like you know making friends with people that are already on the team so I, that was exciting um but yeah it was just the whole I knew that I wanted to get away from New Jersey I told my parents I didn't want to look at any colleges north of Maryland so like I wanted to go down and I wanted to play lacrosse which honestly at the time was pretty limited options um, so going to campus, I just, I loved, first off, it's beautiful. Like, let's just get that out of the way. Um, such a pretty campus. And um, I loved, I knew that I wanted a small school, I think. I had been, you know, going to smaller schools my whole life. And I was like, it just make. I don't want to be in a lecture hall with 100 people plus. I want the professor to know who I am. I don't want to be just a number. Um, and Lynchburg gave me that 1,000%. I mean, last year. Yeah, I think last year I actually emailed Dr. Lapani, one of my professors, who I only had for one class my junior year for an English credit that I had to take. And he remembered exactly who I was. He remembered where I sat. He was it was just the coolest experience. I was like, you don't get that at every college. Um, and so that was super, super cool. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think what else. I, I When I came my senior year for my overnight visit, I just had a blast. I was with three other girls who um, were my age, who were also on their overnight visits. Two of them ended up coming and were in my class with me, um, Jamie Nakawa and Hunter Tyson. So that was super cool. Um, and we just had a blast. It was cool to see that the team, they really were a family and they were just really great friends. And you could tell just by the energy being around them that it was a good place to be.